గారు
Dr. Sebo Shreya Gaur, 
daughter of S. Kavita and S. Jaisinghe Dhaudgaru.
Of those physicians in whose steps I walk, and gladly share such knowledge, as is mine with those who are to follow. I will apply for the benefit of the sick all measures which are required and that warmth, sympathy and understanding may outweigh the surgeon's knife or the chemist's drug. I will not be ashamed to say I know not nor I will fail to call in my colleagues when the skills of another are needed for patient's recovery. I will respect the privacy of my patients for their problems are not disclosed to me that the world may know. Most especially must I trade with I will remember that I do not treat a fever child a cancerous growth, but a sick human being, whose illness may affect the person's family and economic stability. My responsibility includes these related problems. If I have to care adequately for the sick, I will prevent disease whenever I can. I will always look for a path to a cure for all diseases. I will remember that I remain a member of society with special obligations to all my fellow human beings. Those sound of mind and body as well as the info. If I do not violate this code, May I enjoy life and art respected while I live and remember with affection thereafter. May I always act so as to preserve the finest traditions of my calling and may I long experience the joy of healing. Those who seek my help. Can be off now. You can make this side. Yeah. I like the compulsor speech. Speech will compulsor. Light, lights. They are proud parents and students. First of all, congratulations to all of you. You have today definitely fulfilled the dream of your parents. Those who are undergraduates, almost around five and a half years back, your parents came here to this SVS family and today you are graduating from here. Definitely it is a proud moment for you. Every day you need to learn something. Today I have also learned a lot. I have to rearrange the order of the programs but next time but then to do that. for the making it more convenient for everyone. At the same time, as you have learned a lot from this institution because there was a huge potential, a huge availability of all the things like infrastructure, clinical material as well as faculty for you. How much you have learned, I think you know better and be proud and be confident enough that definitely you are the one who are wearing the flag of the SPS out in the society. Why? Because just Half an hour, one hour before when I was sitting because the admissions are going on, Dr. Ramuni Shekhar was there in my chamber. One parent came, MBBS admission. They are both are doctors. This is a A category convener quota admission. So I told, okay, fine, best of luck. There will be no sliding and all. What he replied, no, sir, no sliding. There are 13 colleges in here around, and we don't. We know that we will not get Usmani and Gandhi. After that, we have cancelled the sliding. My son is going to stay here in the SVS only. So why it is happening? Definitely because of the people who are going out like you people. 
and the PGs who are doing a good job. And let me let, let also to inform you one more thing. Every alternate day, some other day, we will be getting mail that people are going <coughs> for your family for abroad or somewhere else. That is all is talking about the product of the SVS. So only one thing, one small message I want to in fact advise to you is that Swami Vivekanand said that please stay away or ignore anything which is making you weak either physically, mentally or spiritually. So if you stay away from the negativity or from the weakness, automatically you will get more strength. And that strength will carry you forward in your future. So I hope in the future also, you will all those who are postgraduate, they will become super business. Those who are undergraduate, they will come again to the SVS with the, for the post graduations. And definitely you will have a very good professional and personal life. As far as concerned, this 2000 organizing batch, as I always said, they were very good, they are very good, and they will be good in their future. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you, sir, for cheering up the audience with your inspiring message. We would follow your words and stay away from anything which makes us weak. Now I request Dr. M. S. Munishekar Garu, Principal, SBS Institute of Dental Sciences, to speak a few words. Respected Cape uh, Stanley, sir. Sri Vijayaragun, sir. Dr. K. J. Reddy, sir. Sri K. Venkatedi, sir. Dr. Joshi, Principal SPS Medical College. Parents and my professional colleagues and dear students. Good evening to one and all. For the first time, I am addressing a gathering of medical <coughs> students. Let me first congratulate all of you for arriving at a very important milestone in your life. And I am happy and privileged to share this happy occasion of yours with you today. Now, as a growing child, all of you must have dreamt of becoming doctors. That is one aspect. Even I had a dream of becoming a doctor, but unfortunately or fortunately, I didn't get a medical seat and I had to satisfy myself with a dental seat. Nevertheless, having dreamt to become doctors, all of you have achieved half of your dream when you have taken admission into this medical course, particularly in SVS Medical College. I'm sure the journey in SVS Medical College has been a good experience and all of you would have gone through a variety of academic challenges. At the same time, I'm sure the faculty members, they have attended to all your challenges and made what you are today. Now whenever we talk about a medical college, for me, there are three important aspects. Number one, the campus. The campus with all infrastructure facilities catering to both academic and non-academic activities. Second most important thing is the faculty members. Highly knowledgeable, skillful faculty members. And more important than that, I'm sure all of you will agree to me, if I say patients are the most important part of a medical institution, medical college. Let me tell you my experience as a student. See, as I told you, I could not make it to medical profession. But then I had an opportunity to join a dental college way back in 1990s, late 1980s. JSS Dental College. This is a concern of JSS Medical College. At that time, when I was an intern, I had an opportunity to visit one of the most premier institutes in India, KMC, Man KMC Udupi, that is Kastarabha College, Manipal. 
When I went there, I could see huge buildings. You know, each block, each building is one department. I was very happy to see the infrastructure, the facilities provided to students. And they had very good faculty members too. But then, when I interacted with the students there, I was comparing myself. I was comparing myself with their students. You know, I was surprised. In JSS Dental College, the case is same in, in, in Mental College as well. We had a lot of patients. We had a lot of patients. In the Dental College, each student, each student was treating, as an intern, was treating around 75 to 100 patients a day. On a single day, we were treating 75 to 100 dental patients. It is same. We had a lot of patients for Medical College too. But I, I cannot say much about Dental College because I do not know much about it. When I asked the students from Manipal, College of Dental Surgery Manipal, each student could do one clinical case for the entire, during the entire posting, or you may not have even a single case. They were good, they were good theoretically, but they were not exposed to clinical practice. I'm talking about particularly about the undergraduate students. Because whatever little clinical material they had, they were all directed to postgraduate students. I'm sure uh, Dr. K.K. Pisar would agree with me. Maybe the things have changed now. But back then, it was quite, quite different. And uh, that's why all of you should be happy that there is no dearth of patients in uh, SVS Medical College. And now, once you have graduated, whether you are MBBS or post-graduation, once you go out, no, you have to practice or you have to take decisions independently on your own. With the experience in the clinical practice or clinical acumen that you have from SVS Medical College, I'm sure that all of you would do well in your in future. At the same time, I would like to encourage all of you to think about your uh, passion and then set your goals. Either you want to do practice or do higher studies. I'm sure in this era, every student should aim at doing post-graduation and much higher studies and do well. Lastly, I would like to congratulate all of you once again and I wish you all the very best. Thank you. To enlighten us with a message. Good evening, all of you, the dignitaries and the dais, and uh, our esteemed uh, faculty and staff who have worked very hard to bring you to this level, and your proud parents, and of course the graduates and the postgraduates. Congratulations to all of you and we can see right from, you know, the program started, I think more than the lights, the, the, the brightness from the faces are lighting this auditorium today. And you see the parents, I mean the grandparents, they are taking pictures. Our uh, Joshi is uh, telling them there are professional photographers, but you cannot stop them because that's how proud they are, that's how happy they are, that's how much they love you. Remember that always throughout your life. You are their life. Never forget that. You have to reciprocate the same and do more for them. I think they are the first people in the family in this world who will be more happy, I mean the only people who will be happy about you, about your achievements. And we on the other hand, we are so happy, so proud because so many postgraduates and graduates have come into the society and that's the contribution of SVS and as management we are responsible, we feel, and we are so proud of that. Already, you know, in Hyderabad, there is no hospital left without 
at least you know few of our SVS doctors, SVS students. We go to any hospital and we find postgraduates, we find DNB students, you know, studying there, doing fellowship. So we feel so comfortable when we see them, you know, the doctor is still, you know, it's a, such a great uh, commodity in this world. So when you know a doctor, that's a privilege for everyone. And you are in that privileged position. So now, but it's not only Hyderabad, now we see, we go, you know, often to America. We, we you know, suddenly receive a call, yeah, I'm from SVS, sir, I'm working in, you know, uh, in the Pittsburgh University or, you know, University of Pennsylvania. So now, I think with your coming out, these numbers will increase and I think we feel, you know, so happy and comfortable for you, for all of you. And, uh, you know, as uh, Joshi has just narrated one incident, but, you know, I will narrate another one. You know, undergraduate uh, admissions are going on here now. And uh, one of the parent is asking, you know, another parent. His daughter already completed uh, post-graduation with us. So I think they just uh, they have gone. So he's asking him, Telugu, he college at Lundi, Adutuna Nathan. When they college at Lunda, they will love to the college. And I just have to. So same, he let Lunda attend to the college because it's not a different college. Uh, not like any other college. You know, there is no other college. You know, it's a family. The relations are so important here. Along with your medical education, definitely, you know, whether you focused or not, definitely you will go out from this institution, this institution with something more valuable in life, and that is relationship. And you, you, have, you would have seen, you know, any of us are open. Our offices are just, doors are open. Anybody can come in. The biggest advantage of SVS is that there is presence of management all the time in the college. That is biggest support for our principals, for our faculty. So if there is any issue or any decision to be made, it will happen in few hours. And mainly because it's a family, any of us take one decision, the rest will automatically, they support us. So there is no board, there is no governing body, you know. That's the reason why any issues, any problems anywhere in the college is addressed on the spot. So that's, that's one of the specialty of SVS, the relations as well as, you know, the access to the students or parents or, you know, the faculty. So we will wish to continue this uh, same as our, uh, you know, brand. And, uh, you know, just uh, as, you know, just uh, to put you on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on a point, you know, what, what, what you should be, how you should approach life. You know, once one uh, MCA inspector came to our college for uh, inspection. So he was interacting with the uh, students. And he, he asked one question. He asked, you see, now I have two, do two doctors. Both are equally qualified. Both are very bright from a very reputed institution. And both have entered into practice. One doctor has 100 patients. He cannot, you know, he doesn't have time to see the patients. Numbers overflowing. The other doctor has no patients. So he asked them, what is the reason? Why? Because both equally competent, both can treat the patients because they know the, they master the subject. Then at the end he said, it is the attitude. It is the attitude of the individual. So how you approach the patients, how you approach the, it's not only with the patients, in life it is your attitude.
how you approach the patients, how you approach your family, how you approach your colleagues, your superiors, that makes all the difference. 70% of your success depends on your, you know, how you manage people. 30% is your professional competence. So with that, I wish you all the best and be very, very happy and make your family even more happier. All the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your thoughtful message. Doctors are privileged and you have given us that privilege. We would surely follow your words to maintain healthy relations and sharpen our decision-making skills with it. I am pleased to invite the distinguished Shri T. Vijay Raghavan Garu, Chairman, SVS Managing Committee, to impart us with a few words. Good evening, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, dignitaries, the proud parents, and young graduates and postgraduates from SCS Medical College family. As my brother said, we are a family, so you are going to go out with great honors and keep the name of the family and keep the flag of SCS flying. Another partner of mine used to, he is not here, he couldn't come. He always say, East or West, SUS is the best. I, I hope this, <coughs> this glitch you will always remember and do that. There are a couple of things, as you go out, you know, in the realms of, you know, now you are all going to be practicing doctors, and you do, you learn a lot of things there. The important aspect of this, so much of the knowledge is there, but the knowledge has to be applied to the practical solutions. Sometimes the complicated questions have very simple answer. So the technology is growing, everything, you know, you have to be more empathetic to the patient. As Vengadradi mentioned, the attitude, very, very clearly, you know, many other times you listen to the patient, empathy and then forthrightness that you feel that you care for them will really, really cure 50% of the, your disease. And I always uh, say this story, I mean again I have to mention this one. Uh, our uh, partner and brother, Venkat KJ Reddy is there. I am not competent to really assess his capability as a doctor. I mean he is one of the best, I know. He is probably the top 10 in India in the NIF, uh, knee surgeon, etc. But what I will always rate him is for his quality as a doctor. He listens to the patients and he very empathetically he talk to them and 50% of his patients gets to you. I referred many of my patients, many of my friends go. They all say the same. It is very, very important aspect of that. What you learn, your distinctions and everything doesn't matter. Ultimately, attitude and how you deal with it. That's very, very So again, in the technological world, you have to keep on educating yourself. We have to keep on updating yourself, knowledge. But on the core subject, that you are the healer, that should not be really forgotten. When you come out of the hospital, of the hospital you will be making a lot of difference. You will be a healer. You will be just making changes in the life. Sometimes you are making so that life with a dark life. But you need to be empathetical and help them to really cure their listening and listen to them. So many of these problems of you know whatever the knowledge you have, you don't apply this knowledge practically, it's not going to be there. So I wish you all the best. I also congratulate the parents and for their dedicated work in helping the students and their awards get away, get the distinction. The other aspect is very important is in addition to the attitude, how do you deal with this with your you know team and then your HODs or whatever maybe if you are a graduate you are going to that. We had a recent one incident, myself and we were sitting there and some students came and said we have some problem etc. Important thing is in, in what you have to understand is this is also education. There may be in your life you may see so many people they may not align with you but you need to really manage people you have to co-op in actually uh, cooperate and build a team. More than knowledge, 
The man management skills are also very important for you. So these are the things which are required. Um, obviously, you need to have a good education, good quality. But this important attitude and other empathy and then listening to the patient and then building a team and really, you know, helping your other co-workers and co-colleagues will make you a very good doctor. So with this small advice, I'll just say thank you. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir, for your wise words. We will truly follow your words and be empathetic as healers. I, now, I kindly request the dignified Dr. K. Krishna Reddy Garu, Secretary, SBS Educational Society, to bestow us with a few words. Good evening, everybody. Respected our SBS Educational Society Chairman, Mr. Vijayaragavan Garu, my brothers, Dr. Joshi. Of course, he is not there. He has gone out for to bring the your, your, to bring your colleagues inside the auditorium and or dear dental principal. Today is the happiest moment for your parents. I congratulate all the outgoing doctors on this occasion. So when we have started this college in 25 years back. So, first inspection was done by Dr. J.K. Tandon, Maulana Ajat Medical College, Delhi. He visited, first he visited as a MCA inspector. He said, after seeing all the infrastructure and other things, he said, student is the VIP here. We treat all the students, I think you might have seen for all five years, you have got a lot of freedom to think. No, I, 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 I don't, I, I have seen many colleges, so a lot of restrictions because you, you are a grown child after coming from Narayana and Sri Chaitanya. So you should develop your own thinking. You should see the management. You should see the faculty. You should think on your own. Then you will develop. That is the idea we have behind the keeping you and not focusing on the whether the particular person is uh, attending the class. Because you should know. So from tomorrow onwards, you should you should feel. You should definitely you will feel. Oh, SVS lo unna puru. Yenta baagun dayani ar mika ar misa. Because you have recorded everything that you are trained now. Oh, yenta yenta protected ga yenta baagun na makara. Yenti pu next mane vendiya. Most graduates should do need trialer. Parents should check in the nala. Ye sab check please ko ali. Many ideas. So now the freedom is lost. Today is the last day for your freedom. You have to work on your own, on your own thinking because you have got a lot of material in your brain now. Now today you may not be knowing, but after going out, you will remember one by one from anatomy to anatomy to general medicine. Professors, whoever is, whoever thought you, you will remember all the material, it will come back and you will become one of the best doctor in the society. So today, uh, the, the, the claps are very less. You know, it's a lot of money. You can see that you have to pay for the money. You have to pay for the money. You have to pay for the money. Brother, you know, America is in America. अमेरिका 
కొత్త డాక్టర్లు అందరికీ నా తరఫున కంగ్రాచులేషన్స్ చెప్పమని చెప్పినాడు కాబట్టి సో టు బికమ్ ఏ గుడ్ డాక్టర్ యాజ్ బ్రదర్ సేడ్ అండ్ మిస్టర్ విజయరాగ్ సేడ్ యూ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ పాజిటివ్ యాటిట్యూడ్ చాలామంది డాక్టర్ల దగ్గర వెళ్తుంటే చిన్నప్పుడు ఏదైనా మన ప్రాబ్లం చెప్పుకుంటుంటే వాళ్ళు అనేది డాక్టర్ నీవా నేనా అరే డా ఏం చెప్తావా డాక్టర్ నేనా నీవా డాక్టరే అడిగేవాడు సో అలాంటి యాటిట్యూడ్ మీరు డెవలప్ చేసుకోండి యూ లిజన్ టు ద పే పేషెంట్ యువర్ యూ షుడ్ బీ ఆల్వేస్ విత్ పాజిటివ్ యాటిట్యూడ్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ పాజిటివ్ యూ షుడ్ డెవలప్ ద స్కిల్ సెకండ్ థింగ్ ఈ స్కిల్ యూ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ స్కిల్ ఓన్లీ మంచి కూర్చోబెట్టి అది మన డయాగ్నస్టిక్ పంపించి అక్కడ పంపించి చేసినంత మాత్రాన సరిపోదు యూ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ స్కిల్ వాట్ టు డూ అండ్ ఫైనలీ యూ షుడ్ గెట్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఆఫ్ మెడికల్ సైన్స్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ద టైమ్ టు గెట్ ద నాలెడ్జ్ బికాస్ ఫర్ ఆల్ దీస్ ఇయర్స్ యువర్ స్టూడెంట్ నౌ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు గెట్ నాలెడ్జ్ బై రీడింగ్ బుక్స్ బై asking your seniors and uh, other uh, uh, experts so first is attitude then your skill then your knowledge these three things will make you full fledged doctor so i go oh, i definitely i am i am sure that you will become one of the best doctors of the society so i so ide ఇదే ఇదే ఎంతూజియాజం ఇదే చిరునవ్వు మీ పేరెంట్స్ ముఖంలో ఉన్నట్టు ఎల్లప్పటికీ ఇదే కంటిన్యూ కావాలని ఆశిస్తూ మీరందరికీ మరొకసారి శుభాకాంక్షలు తెలుపుతూ ముగిస్తున్నారు థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ Thank you, sir, for uh, sharing your knowledge with us. Your idea of freedom has allowed students to reach great heights. We would surely develop positive attitude, knowledge and skills. Now, I gladly request our dynamic Dr. K.J. Redikaru, Managing Director, as well as the Medical Group of Institutions to address the gathering. Good evening. Respected everyone. dignities and the dais my dear students esteemed faculty proud parents and graduates proud graduates post graduates as joshi said i should congratulate you once again because you're lucky to be graduating from sps because sps stood up the time and the test many times and has shown best results in the society bringing the top doctors as my bengaluru brother was saying about 10 15 years ago i went to london and met one of the students doing the post graduation in london you know the meetings he came and met me sir i am first batch 99 we struggled a lot buildings were not complete inspections were going on and i wasn't sure how much i can do in my career but i am very happy that i am among the top institutions in london it's because of sps you taught us so many things not only the profession but other aspect of life so i used to feel thrilled but now you go anywhere go to america go to amitsa go to manipal pga or uh, chandigarh or delhi you see not one many of his students because we have been here for the last 25 years graduating post graduate post graduate best doctors in the society and we get a brother was saying in corporate hospitals in hyderabad there so many from sps and they are taken like hot cakes in apollo i have about 12 people team 10 of them are sps 
I'm in SVS, majority are from SVS. Under graduation, post graduation from SVS. So I request some of you, after specialization, come back to SVS. Take to next level in education, in, treat, in treating patients. And Vijayaragavan Maikrishnan, brother, was saying, attitude is the most important part in your profession. Have you seen 100 patients, one doctor, no patients with other doctor? It is your attitude, ABC, attitude, behavior, and communication. Communications, these are the three important things along with your knowledge, your skills, which will make you the difference in the society. So be humble. Listen to the patients. I can tell you an example. Last month, I did it. One of the patients came from Northeast, Mizoram. She went all around. She went to a She needed an operation. There was no doubt she needed both the knees replacement. But she wasn't happy seeing many doctors. She heard from somebody that uh, somewhere now, South Apollo Hospital, there's a good doctor. I'm of course many doctors. He came and saw me. And I asked her, why did you see so many doctors? Sir, wherever I go, they put the x-rays in the box and say you need an operation. Nobody tells me why I need operation. And what is the operation? Is there any other alternative treatment? And what problems will have operation? And she went on, what are, the doctor, what are the other things she wanted to do? And she went to many people, whether she can avoid operation. But now she decided for operation, but nobody could explain to her. First of all, nobody could listen to her. What was there in her mind? So when we explained, when I explained, she was quite convinced what, why she needs an operation. And that's the best medicine because we take it, keep taking painkillers, it will damage your kidneys, liver, end up in many other medical problems. So once you explain in detail, she was convinced and got the operation done. To my surprise, in last one month, I saw about 10 patients from that place for the surgery. So it is your communication, attitude, behavior, along with your knowledge that brings you your patients. And there are three stages in, in, in any career of your profession, medical profession. The first phase or stage is you learn how to do a procedure or a treat a patient or do a surgery, how to deal with a medical problem. And most of you might have got the procedures or the treatment part. The second stage is when to do it. Find the right patient. That means right indication. Probably if you are good at one particular procedure, you can't apply to inappropriate patient, inappropriate indication. It won't be successful. And do you know what is the last one? Any guess? When not to do the procedure or not to do operation. That's the final stage. Just because patient has come to you, don't give treatment, or do a procedure or a surgery because patient wants or you want to do it. You have to see whether that's really going to benefit the patient. Most of the conditions they go away on their own. You don't need treatment. But you should understand and you should be able to explain to the patient that this particular problem will resolve in time. It doesn't need any surgical or any medical procedures. Just wait and watch. You become very popular doctor. This doctor I went to, this doctor, he doesn't do unnecessary treatment. He doesn't do unnecessary investigations doesn't do unnecessary surgeries, you get 
very popular and get more patients. Being honest to the patients. I forgot to wish one of your colleagues a birthday today. Wish you a happy birthday. Many happy returns of the day. So I think uh, it's important that you are disciplined, sincere towards your profession, and love what you do. Oh, one more thing I want to say, why I became orthopedic surgeon. There is always a reason why you choose that particular profession which you enjoy. As long as you enjoy the profession, you don't get bored. You tend to do more. During my undergraduation, one of my professor used to ask me the question the last. He used to ask everybody in a clinical meeting or in a meeting wherever in a case discussion. I had very scary. I was the last one to ask. And if he don't answer, then you should he used to feel very bad that that's a difficult question. So that's why he stimulated orthopedics most of the time. It still motivated me to read and go before and answer the question. So it should be a motivation for you to become a specialist and enjoy the profession so that you won't get bored. And as Muni Munishekar said, the best teacher is your patient. Now we become graduates. You are independent doctors, your colleagues, your no more students, but your student rest of your life for your profession. Once you feel that you know everything, you learn nothing. You become extinct. So it's important to remember three P's. That means discussion with your peers, presence at the podium, and publications. You have to publish, do some research, and show cause yourself. Yesterday, all of us watched Chandrayaan 3 landing. How precise it was, how exciting it was. And you can see Prime Minister Modi. I strongly believe he's the only one who spends most of all, all of his time looking after the country. Very lucky to have a Prime Minister like him. And the precision you see, 43 days ago, they launched that satellite. And yesterday, they were saying 6.03 p.m. Dot 6.03 p.m. 6.03 p.m. landed successfully for the first time. So that is the precision we have. We have the talent. We have the talent in aeros aero aerospace. We also have talent in medicine. Some of you, most of you, should use that talent. Have that precision in diagnosing, treating. There's so many conditions in medicine which are unsolved. We don't have right treatment. For example, common problem, osteoarthritis of the knee. So many centuries research has been done, even now we don't know why osteoarthritis affects particular population, not everybody. In the family also, it doesn't affect everybody. We don't know the reason. If you make find the reason, you will be a rich man. Similarly, so many cancers are there, so many diseases, neurological diseases are there, which we do not have any answer. So think about finding solution like yesterday. Remember the precision. They are so proud if you find something similar to yesterday precision, any unsolved disease, we will be very proud. Society will be proud. India will be very proud. So wish you all the best. And you keep your families together. You, the most important for persons in your family who give unconditional love is your parents. Your mother next to your father. Never forget them. You are here because of them. They worked 
very hard, more than you, in the last five, six years. Thinking about you all the time, making you successful and like this today. Wish you all the luck, good luck and thank you all the parents who trusted us long time back, 17, 2017, keeping your children with us and we are handing over back to you for a better career and better profession. Thank you once again. Thank you, sir, for your insightful message. You are a role model to all of us. You have surely developed the standard of education. There is so much we have to learn from you, sir. Now I would request Dr. Shushan, son of Dr. Murli Krishna from Orthopedic Department, who is a gold medalist of 2017 batch, to come onto the dais and share his uh, college experience with us. Good evening, esteemed dignitaries on the stage, faculty, parents, family members, and the fellow graduates. Myself, Dr. Sushrut, I have completed my post-graduation in MS Orthopedics from 2017 to 2020. I'm glad to share that I have cleared the post-graduation examinations by securing an university gold medal. I express my sincere and deep gratitude to our professors, Dr. K.J. Reddy, sir, Dr. K. Jagdishwar Rao sir, Dr. Anjanayal sir, Dr. Mohan Reddy sir and all the faculty of our orthopedic department for their constant motivation and guidance throughout our PG period. I am very fortunate and lucky to be associated with such amazing professors. We had an opportunity to conduct many trauma courses, orthoplastic courses.